Okay, so Strava has updated its on its subscription level the routes that you can design and use, and they've now got this great feature where you can sync them automatically with your Garmin um, device. So I'm going to show you how to create routes using Strava and then how to sync them up to your Garmin device. So first off, I'm, I'm going to show you this, the syncing. So to connect Strava and Garmin, you need to go into your Garmin Connect account on the web. You need to click on your icon in the top right-hand corner and go down to account settings. Once the account settings is open, underneath settings in the, just to slightly to the left of center, at the bottom it says account information. Select account information, and then you need to scroll down to the bottom till you find your linked applications. There you need to make sure that in Strava, you will probably have your activities green boxed. You then need to select the courses so that that is green boxed as well. And that will sync all your Strava data from the routes into your Garmin Connect. To create a new route in Strava, you need to go to Dashboard, My Routes, and then you get a selection on your screen. You may well have no routes on there. Here are the routes that I've created. I'm going to hit Create a New Route. And then this is your pane where you can then design any routes for your that you want to go through to your Garmin. So I'm going to choose a running route. You can choose a riding route. I like to choose the follow most popular rather than the most direct because that will mean Strava will select the, the routes that most people will run down. And that usually is, is the best way to go. Um, you could choose depending on the type of run you want to do, to maximize or minimize your elevation. You might want a flat route or you might want a hilly route. And then the surface type, this is really good. You can choose to run on roads, paved surfaces, or choose to run on dirt surfaces. So if I'm going to start here, this is down in St Albans, and I'm going to create a route. So I'm going to start here by the lake in Verulanium Park. I think I'm going to run up to uh, here and then it creates this nice little route and so it's chosen the most popular uh, and it's chosen the I'm going to choose minimize elevation it doesn't actually change it there I've only got a five meter uh, gain and loss so the key thing you can see here is when it has got this dashed white and red line, that means um, that it is a dirt track. And when it is solid orange, it means that it is it is a road. So you can see that this has a mixture of off-road and on-road tracks. Now that might be useful to you because in winter you might want to avoid the mud and in summer you might want to enjoy the trails. So I'm going to click further up here. And we're going to go around and create this little track back to the finish. So here I've done, here I've got a 10 kilometer run that I've created. If I'm not happy with it, if I don't want to go on this road, I can drag this little icon here and it will reroute me through that way. Um, and you can just adjust it to match whether or not you would, um, that's what you like to do. So if I prefer the dirt surfaces, there you are, it can reroute certain areas, or if I want to prefer the road, it will reroute it that way. The dark blue lines you see are what's called the global heat map on there, and they are the most popular routes that people take when running. If I take those off, you just get the normal, um, the normal uh, roads and routes on there. 
Do thing you might want to choose is the show segment. So if you want to go segment chasing, you can put the segments on there and reroute yourself over some of the segments. Now I'm going to click save. Give it a name. We call it this an Auburn's 10K. Make it visible. And there we are. I have now saved that in my roots. Now, to get that to my Garmin, there's one more key thing that I need to do, and that is I have to star it there. Anything that I star when I come to sync with my Garmin will mean that it automatically syncs across. Another way of creating roots is that as you're scrolling through Garmin, uh, Strava, you might find somebody has created a really nice run and you look and go, oh yeah, I'd really like to do that run. And you can see it and, and recreate it. And it's dead easy to then add that to your roots in Strava and then sync that across to Garmin. So I'm going to then create this as a route. If I hit these three little dots here, it then says create route. That then brings it back into the route designer. Once it's there, I might want to tweak it a little bit. I might want to maybe update the route to make it the most direct. Once I've got the route organized, I can then hit save. And I can give it a name. So I'm going to call this one with the Danny Ryson route is what I'm going to call it. I'm going to save it to my roots. Once it has landed in my route, remember to send it to Strava, to send it to Garmin, sorry. You have to hit the star button in the top there. And the next time your Garmin syncs, this route will land on your Garmin. The last way that Strava will can create routes is on the mobile app. There's this brilliant function where it can look around you and you can ask it to give you specified routes. So the way that you do that is in Strava, you head into your profile, you head into Explore, and then at the top of Explore, you've got Explore Routes, which you need to click. Now this then looks in your local area, so it looks where you are, and then around that area, it will then begin to create routes that you're looking at. So if I want to go for a run or a ride, I'll do that. So it's given me 10 kilometer options below. If I want to change that to a 30 kilometer run, it will then look around me and then it will give you several options for 30 kilometer runs around the local area. You can change the elevation. If you want it to be flat run, it will give you new options for a flat run. Or if you want it to be hilly, you can have a hilly run. And each time it gives you different options. Again, you can choose whether it's dirt or whether it is tarmac. So a road run or a trail run. And once you're happy with it, You've decided the one that you want, you can hit save. Save the details of the route. Um, and the key thing at the bottom there, where it says sync to supported devices, make sure that star is starred. If you don't want it to go to your Garmin, unstar it. But let's assume you do want it to go to your Garmin. Press mm. save. And then that route becomes saved. You'll now then be able to go sync your Garmin on the app and that will appear on your device. If you then go to Garmin, open up your Garmin Connect, click on your three lines at the top left. If you go down to 
uh, training and courses. You can see there we've got the St Albans 10K that we created, the Danny Bryson route that I copied from somebody else's profile, and then the Roundwood Lane Harpend and Luton course, which I created in the Strava app using their suggested routes. So the last thing to check is that it has gone through to your Garmin. So if you go and start a run, as you normally would, go down to, I'm gonna go down and check, navigation, courses, There we are, there's the Danny Bryson route that we just put on. Uh, we need to find the Harpenden one. These ones are in alphabetical order um, rather than um, in the order of date. So there's the Roundwood Lane to Harpenden one we put on and there is the St Albans one that we created. So they are all ready to go. All that in less than three or four minutes.